with many Native Americans today tracing part of their roots to this group. Ancient DNA reveals Native Americans' epic journeys across continents. Have you ever wondered about the origins of Native Americans and their ancient migrations across the globe? In this video, we'll dive into fascinating new genetic research that maps out these epic journeys using ancient DNA from Eastern Eurasia. Get ready to travel back in time and uncover the incredible stories hidden in our ancestors' genes. Around 20,000 to 30,000 years ago, hunter-gatherer groups from Eastern Eurasia set out on a journey that would make them the first people to inhabit the Americas. Whether by walking across an ancient land bridge or traveling by boat, these pioneering people ventured into unknown territories. But their migration wasn't just a one-way trip. Researchers from Germany recently made groundbreaking discoveries by analyzing ancient DNA extracted from the remarkably well-preserved bones and teeth of 10 individuals who lived in Eastern Eurasia between 7,500 and 500 years ago. Thanks to the cold climates at high latitudes, the DNA was preserved in an astonishingly good condition, comparable to modern samples. One of the study's major findings was the identification of an entirely new population of hunter-gatherers who lived in Siberia's Altai Mountains region around 7,500 years ago. This group was a genetic mix of two distinct lineages that lived in different parts of Siberia during the last ice age, the Paleo-Siberians and the ancient North Eurasians. The Paleo-Siberian ancestry contributed to the first wave of humans crossing into the Americas, with many Native Americans today tracing part of their roots to this group. Meanwhile, the ancient North Eurasian lineage made significant genetic contributions to nearly all European populations and later migrations to North America as well. Altai region seems to have been a crucial crossroads where different human populations intermingled and mixed much like the famous intersection where Russia, Mongolia, China, and Kazakhstan meet today. The ancient DNA also revealed surprising connections between 7,000-year-old remains from the Russian Far East and the Jaman people, hunter-gatherers from the Japanese archipelago known for their unique pottery. Despite being isolated on the islands for thousands of years, some Jaman groups left and crossed the sea back to the Asian mainland before mixing with incoming rice farming populations around 3,000 years ago. Recent research has shed light on the dynamic history of human movement across the Bering Strait, revealing that the well-documented migrations from Asia to the Americas were only part of the story. Evidence now shows that some groups also embarked on return journeys to Asia. This back-and-forth migration has left traces of Native American ancestry far from the Americas, extending to regions like the Kamchatka Peninsula and Central Siberia. A comparative study of the genetic makeup of individuals from the Kamchatka Peninsula who lived 500 years ago with present-day inhabitants reveals a significant increase in Native American ancestry. This suggests that Native Americans had migrated back to Eurasia around 5,000 years ago a timeline supported by the convergence of genetic lineages in ancient DNA samples. Moreover, the study indicates that there were additional migrations across the Bering Strait in more recent times. While the precise origins of these migrations remain uncertain, the genetic evidence points to several Native American groups, including the ancient Aleut, Athabascan, and Old Bering Sea peoples, as potential sources of this genetic influx into Eurasia. Anthropologist David Meltzer comments that the submersion of the Beringia land bridge around 12,000 years ago did not halt these transcontinental movements. With the advent of watercraft technology around 6,000 years ago, or possibly earlier, humans continued to traverse the Bering Sea. This new study builds upon previous genetic findings from ancient remains in the modern Chukchi people of Siberia confirming that there were numerous instances of human migration in both directions across the Bering Sea. The research provides a clearer understanding of the frequency and timing of these back-and-forth migrations, enriching our knowledge of human history.